All right, if you have an Insignia Fire Smart TV and it will get stuck on the logo screen when you're trying to start it off, start it on, you've unplugged it, you replug it back in, you keep getting the issue, I'm here to help you fix that, that issue. So while it's stuck on the logo screen, I want you to make sure you have a remote that's got fresh batteries in it. And what I want you to do is hold two buttons at the same time. I want you to hold the play button, which is right here. It's the play pause button. And then I want you to hold the enter button, which is right here. So I want to hold that down and the play button at the TV while it's on the logo. I want to hold that down for at least 20 seconds. Let go and see if that works. If it doesn't, try again. Play, pause, and select and hold that down and then see if that works. All right. After you've tried that and you're unsuccessful with it, next thing I want you to do is look on the back of your TV and look at the HDMI ports and see if you have anything connected to the HDMI ports. So let's, let's say you have an Apple TV or a PlayStation or an Xbox. Go ahead and temporarily disconnect those and then try to power the, the uh, Insignia back up and then tell me if that fixes your issue. If it does, then there's an issue with either the device, the Xbox, or that port. So try a different HDMI port or try a different HDMI cord. All right, if you've tried that and you're still having the same issue, what you wanna do is you wanna do a recycle, reset on your TV. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unplug it. We're gonna go ahead and unplug it from the wall or you can actually unplug it from the TV. And while it's unplugged, what I want you to do is with the remote, hold down the power button pointing at the TV for a good 30 seconds and let go. Then locate the power button on the insignia. And so this one is right here. It could be on the side. And then you're going to hold that down for 30 seconds. Let go and then plug it back in and then see if that will work. And a lot of times it will. If not, it could be an issue with your power cord. So this insignia uses a polarized AC cord, which looks like this. If we could pull it out, it looks like this. And so it looks like a little X on the side of one in a circle of that. You can get this off of Amazon for five bucks, 10 bucks, okay, and replace this. And they're pretty universal with pretty much any device. So whatever polarized cord that you get off of Amazon should work. Get that in, plug it up, and see if that fixes your problem. If it does, then you know the issue is just with your power cord. Uh, finally, last but not least, if that does not work, it could be an issue with your router. Your Wi-Fi router is not close enough. You might want to try to connect it uh, directly to the Ethernet and connect it directly to the Ethernet, which the port should be back here and then see if that will fix the issue. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And if you can, put in the comments section if one of these solutions worked, which one worked. All right, thanks again.